Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're staying safe in these crazy times. If you don't know me, I'm Louis and I occasionally make tech review videos. I am especially excited today to talk to you about this new Sony vlogging camera, the ZV-1. So I bought this spinning tray, which I think is meant for food, so I could get some cool product shots. Yeah. Guys, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna be running a giveaway where you can win one of these cameras. Basically back in September of last year, Sony invited a lot of their ambassadors to a camera camp that iJustine organized. We partnered with Sony to have our very own camera camp. It feels like I'm in a Western movie. There's like a teepee, a little wagon there, this dude playing his guitar. It's kind of an exciting time, but also a bit, a bit daunting to think like what, how can we make a difference as influencers? And they took a lot of our advice and basically did one-on-one -on -one sessions with a lot of us about what would the ideal perfect vlogging point and shoot camera look like. This is the direct result of those conversations. This is amazing to me because they've managed to put this into production in six months and have released this camera. So back in the day of the DSLRs, which were essentially still photography cameras, which had like video features built in, Sony really pioneered with the mirrorless camera. So the A7S, the A7R, the A7, A9, all of these cameras, these screens don't flip out. There's no way of seeing what you're filming unless you're using an external monitor, which I am on this camera here. So I've managed to get my hands on these old Sony camcorders. This is a higher spec one that Casey actually lent me. And then this is a smaller handy cam. And I'm actually currently capturing this massive archive of old videotapes tracking back like 20 years of my life. And I'm really excited to capture all of those. There's like 400 hours of tapes that I'm gonna be cutting together for some throwback videos in the near future. But something I noticed about these cameras, which are like, yeah, like 20 years old, some of them, is they have this flip screen. Both of them have these this flip screen feature where if you're in front of the camera shooting, you can see what you're shooting. The RX100 series has been the point and shoot camera that Sony have been releasing over the last, again, I don't know, eight years, seven years. And the screen flips up uh, vertically above the camera, but if you have any kind of uh, attachment on the top, it blocks the screen and it's a much better than the mirrorless cameras, but it's still a little bit limited. So with all of that in mind, one of the biggest features that we talked to Sony about back in September was a much better flip screen. Going back to the old school, a full rotating screen. So this ZV-1 is designed for the vlogger now. It has a side flip screen that rotates all the way around. Basically, it's what people have been wanting for years with the Sony cameras. So I'm really excited that they've managed to do this. So the ZV-1 has a microphone input. It also has a hot shoe on the top so you can attach a microphone. There's a Sony microphone with the, um, what do they call this? Multi-interface shoe. There's also the multi-interface shoe, which means you can attach microphones with the kind of intelligent shoe straight in and you don't even need any cables. And then if this was the OX100, when you flip the screen up, you wouldn't really be able to see it. So this is where it's perfect for the flip out screen to the side. Saying that, I don't really use external microphones unless it's a really windy environment or I'm doing like a special interview or something. I actually love using the inbuilt mic and they've really improved the inbuilt mic on this. And after years, Sony have released their own mini dead cat, which is this fluffy thing. People always ask me when I'm carrying my cameras around. What are these fluffy things? So this this is what I've been using for years is these Velcro stick-on third-party dead cats. It's crazy that Sony haven't up until now done this, but they finally released their own dead cat for super windy conditions. And it actually clips into the hot shoe nicely. So there's no Velcro, there's no sticking things on, which again, doesn't obscure the screen because the screen pops out to the side. This camera is designed for an absolute beginner. Obviously, I've taken a real big interest in cameras. I love playing around with settings. I love going into the menu. I love doing a lot of manual things, but most people just need a camera as a tool to storytell and to vlog and do what they need to do without having to learn all the intricacies of cameras. Firstly, they have a huge record button versus the RX100, which 
had a tiny record button on the side here. Also, when you hit this record button, there's a record light on the front so you can see your recording and you don't make those mistakes of like accidentally forgetting to press the record button. You can see the whole time. Obviously, if you've got the flip out screen as well, you can see uh, that it's recording in the corner there. So for the last few years, I've been shooting all my vlogs in aperture priority mode, and I've been keeping my f-stop as low as possible, so the background is always out of focus. Now this is just my preference, but obviously a lot of other people want that too, but they're not sure how to do it, they don't wanna go into the manual settings or flip to aperture priority. So Sony have made it super easy now, and I'm gonna demonstrate this. Okay, so at the moment you can see everything's in focus, the background's in focus, I'm in focus. As soon as I hit this button, boom, the background is out of focus and I'm in focus. It's as simple as that. It's a quick, easy function that people can turn on and off if they want it. Backgrounds of focus, out of focus, love it. Okay, so this next feature is pretty awesome and I think they're really utilizing their newest technology and like quick auto focusing. So this is called the product showcase setting. So I think the stabilization actually turns off when you've got the product showcase setting on, but I think it's also designed to be used on a tripod whilst you're doing it. I'm vlogging away, I hold up a product, it immediately focuses on the product, move it away again, straight back onto my face. Boom, check it out. This is the, this is the camera, boom, straight back to me. I just love how fast that is, boom, what? Boom, straight back. Look how fast that is, that is mad. Because this is one of the issues I've had the entire time vlogging is that something will come into shot and it will focus on that and then it will take ages to focus back on my face. So this, again, is an epic feature. Boom, what? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> one of the other major improvements they have on this camera is they've got this thing called face priority auto exposure, which when you're walking in between like really, really bright environments and dark environments, like if you're walking along a sunny street in and out of the shadows, which I'll try and show you here if I manage to go out and do that tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna walk from the shade into the light. Boom. From the light into the shade, light, shade. How's that coping? Pretty good, right? So currently with all the Sony cameras, you can take the entire scene or a specific spot in that scene and auto expose to that. The problem with that is um, your face might go bright and dark and bright and dark whilst you're talking, but this new feature, it exposes for your face and then the background will go uh, light and dark and your face will stay exposed, which is great because obviously when you're vlogging, uh, that's what people are focusing on, your face. The other great thing is there's unlimited record time on this camera. Even in 4K, you can have unlimited record time. So if you're doing a long vlog like I am here, I'm having to stop, check the camera after half an hour and restart the recording. This way you can just set up the camera, hit record, and you don't have to worry about it running out. You can just sit there and chat for an hour and it's gonna capture everything. It just makes life so much easier. I haven't tried this feature yet, but apparently when you're shooting in vertical, it recognizes it as vertical content when you pull it onto your phone. So it's very easy to pull it onto social apps. Obviously, so many social apps are shooting in vertical now. Sony have told me at some stage there's gonna be an update which enables this camera to be a webcam. So you can just plug it into your computer. And obviously we're all doing Zoom calls and video calls right now. And most webcam, built-in webcams are shockingly bad shockingly bad uh, but this is going to be amazing once you can just plug this into usb into your computer boom webcam with the zv1 release sony are also offering a bundle with this vlogger kit which gives you this shooting grip and an sd card now honestly the whole point of a compact camera for me is that it can fit in your pocket so i wouldn't use it with a grip i also have very long arms which i've talked about before so thankfully i can get it far enough away from my face that it's not too tight but i'm going to open this now and check this out this is what they call the gp vpt 2bt um, <laughs> oh some of these names crack me up so yeah let's check this out so you've got all the buttons on the front for you to access easily with your thumb and then you can just attach this, which this feels pretty cool actually. This is me with my arm fully extended. 
If I switch to the grip now, this is the extra uh, length I can get with the grip, which is plenty wide enough, I think. This lens is the equivalent of a 24 to 70, for those of you that know cameras. Um, I personally would love a 21 mil lens, but they've told me because of the other features and the sensor and the low aperture, um, they can't do that yet, but that would solve some of this problem of needing this extra kind of selfie stick, this little hand grip. This is what it looks like in tripod mode and uh, with the flip screen out, this is pretty cool. And then just quickly switch to handheld grip. And I think this works if you're gonna throw this in your bag and not in your pocket, I think this makes sense to me. And then also, like I said, you could then like attach a little mic to the top. Um, actually, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna switch to this mic and see if it makes a big difference with audio, check this out. So this is the audio built in with the camera. And I guess this is the audio uh, with this attachable mic that Sony have as well. Um, yeah, what, is the audio much better? I've, I've never really bothered, but um, like I said, if you're gonna throw in your bag and you don't mind having the grip and an external mic, this could work pretty well. With all of that said, and I probably missed some different features of the camera, the thing that makes this so good as well for me is that one of the bits of feedback we were giving Sony is that the current point and shoot, the RX100, is pretty pricey for what it is. I think this is like, I think like $1,200 for the newest RX100. The introductory price of the ZV-1 is $750, which is incredible. And I think that lasts until the end of June. And then I think they're upping it to $800. So $750 is way more affordable. Honestly makes this the best vlogging compact point and shoot camera out there for me at the moment. If you pay another $100 on top of the 750, you can get the vlogger kit with the SD card and the shooting grip. Uh, and then I think the vlogger kit standalone is $150. So I just want to thank Sony for listening to their consumers, listening to us and building the perfect vlogging camera. All of the things we inquired about and asked about and when it changed, they did and they created this. I think it's a really good move for Sony because obviously they want to get more people into filming. More and more people are like starting YouTube channels, wanting to get into vlogging and this is the perfect product. For me, I will be using it a little bit but I'll also be using my mirrorless camera, the a7 III and I'm really dreaming of the day when Sony release the a7S III. Sony, please, the a7S III, I cannot wait. But yeah, for a point and shoot beginner vlogger, this is your guy. Sony's given me an extra ZV-1 camera to give away to you guys, for you to share a bit of your story and what you're going through, especially right now in this time. And then I'd love to collaborate and make a video with the Social Good Club, which is this other project I've been running. So to enter the giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, and then leave a comment below, briefly sharing a bit of your story and why it's important for you to be able to share your story. This is the great thing about the internet and YouTube is that it can give anyone a voice. And I really wanna use my platform more to amplify those voices. But I understand that sometimes people are limited because they don't have a camera or technology. So thanks for watching guys. I will be uploading regularly again soon. I've got a ton of content planned, including some fun investigative journalist style videos. I'm gonna be doing some throwback videos with a lot of the tapes I've been capturing. And I'll be sprinkling in the occasional tech video as well. So I'll catch you next time. Peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure. Boo.